Ladies and gentlemen, welcome inside Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for tonight's Benedictine basketball home opening doubleheader between the Shaw Cardinals and your Benedictine Bengals. We'll start it off with JV here today. Uh, the JV Bengals are one and two. They found success taking down Gilmore Academy on the first in the season opener. As for Shaw, they've yet to find some success uh, as far as winning goes, but they'll look to turn things around today. My name is Patrick Lloyd. I'll be joining you all night long here for our doubleheader JV and varsity. No freshmen today, but looking forward to both games this evening from the field house. Finally opening our season. So the Bengals take the floor. Starting for them, it'll be number three, Kristen Shorter out there with number four, Tyree Williamson. Number 30, Tyrell O'Neal. Number 11, Eli Ellis. As well as, on the other side, it be I believe that's Caleb Davis. Tyrell O'Neal will take the tip off and we're just about ready to get this one underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The tip is away, it's won by the Bengals. Davis with it, driving up the floor. Across the center line of the forecourt on the right wing now, guarded by two people. He's gonna drive, try and go through the lane. Down low, missed a layup. Bengals get it back. Nope. We have a whistle on the play, let's see what the call is. Gonna be, it's gonna be Bengals ball. It looked like we had some confusion at first about you know, who was scoring on what side and possession arrow, something like that. So the referees are gonna take it up at the scores table. No score through the first few seconds of this JV matchup. Shaw is going to inbound. Inbounding it'll be number five, Quentin Augusto. He's gonna be able to get it in. That's a backcourt violation over and back on the Cardinals. They inbounded it in the forecourt and then went all over to the backcourt. So, Bengals ball. Ellis will inbound. Ellis into Davis. Davis slowing things down. They're going to get him with an over and back. So, two early over and back calls. And plenty of turnovers here early on. Shaw the other way. It's Matthews. We have a travel. Bagels ball. Davis will inbound to Ellis. Eli Ellis. The freshman here on the JV squad. Across the Bengals logo. Gives to Davis. Davis try to go down low. To uh, Christian Shorter. Able to do so. Substitutions. Jonathan Spikes enters for the Bengals. Inbounding it for Shaw will be McCoy. Bengals with a nice press going. They're going to steal it away. Eli Ellis lays it up. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here they go the other way. Kicking for three. Missed it. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Trying to put it up. Two Bengals defending him, and we're gonna have a jump ball. It's gonna stay possession with the Cardinals. Still no score early on. Bengals and Cardinals. Shaw is gonna get it in. Now driving through the lane, laying it up off the back iron. Rebounded by Tyrell O'Neal of the Bengals. Here comes Davis across center court. Kicks it over to Spike. Spike's thought about a shot. Now he'll go up top to Davis. Davis will kick to Tyree Williamson for three. Off the front of the iron. Shaw grabs the rebound. Here they go the other way. 
Tyree got in there, and it's gonna be the Bengals ball. Great defense by Tyree Williamson. These JV Bengals led by head coach Terry Williamson, the, the father of Tyree Williamson, a Bennington graduate of 1994. His assistant is Tion Wynn. Here come the Bengals the other way. Ellis to Williamson over to Davis. Davis down low to Tyrell O'Neal and the Bengals take a 2-0 lead. Shaw inbounds. And it looks like we're gonna have a foul on the Bengals. Yep, so we have a foul on Benedictin. And a timeout was called. So far, we've seen a little bit of a lack of offense, but the Bengals have been playing great defense so far. Shaw will inbound. They took the timeout. Jerome Matthews will inbound. Bengals will continue to press the Cardinals here. They're gonna get it in, and now kick it out wide to here they go the other way, laying it up and laying it in and one. So we are tied and number one, Vaughn Hunter for the Cardinals will go to the line to shoot one and to give Shaw the lead potentially. Here we go. His one free throw is up and it's in. Shaw takes a 3-2 lead. Benedict in the other way. Tyree Williamson laying it up and in. Shaw inbounding it. Here we go. Down on the left wing. Thinking about a shot. He'll go baseline, laying it up. Nice job. They're going to call a foul on Ty uh, Tyrell O'Neal. And so Shaw's gonna go to the line once again with a chance to tie the game or take the lead. Bengals lead 4-3 here in our JV matchup. First of two games this evening. First free throw is up and it's off. So. The best the Cardinals can do here, it's number one once again at the line, Vaughn Hunter. The best they can do is tie. Second free throw on the way. He knocks it down. All knotted up at four, Ellis the other way. Bengals moving quickly, Davis through the lane, putting it up and getting fouled. Caleb Davis will go to the line. Caleb Davis at the line, shooting two. 441 left to go in the first quarter. First shot is up and it rolls off. Spikes, Davis, O'Neal, Ellis, and Williamson in the game for the Bengals. Davis' his second shot is off again. Rebounded by big Tyrell O'Neal. Davis kicks it out to Spikes, 4-3. Off, rebounded by nobody. It's gonna be out of bounds, Bengals ball. Davis inbounds to Williamson, and it goes off his hands. It'll go the other way, Cardinals ball. And Banning, it's gonna be number 15, Sincere McCoy. Three on the way from Shaw, and they knock it down. They take a 7-4 lead, Ellis gets it into Davis. 
Davis goes to Spikes. Tries to go out to Williamson. Williamson catches it up high, gets down low to Spikes, who puts it up and in. And it's 7 6. Here go the Cardinals the other way. Getting trapped. Tipped by Williamson. Spikes gets it back, kicks to Williamson in the corner. Thought about a three. Lost the ball, gives to Spikes. Spikes goes through the lane. Down low to Ellis. Ellis on the baseline. Goes out wide to Davis for three. Off. Rebounded by Shaw. McCoy picks it up. And now it's going to be Vaughn Hunter the other way. Now it's Augusto who gives to McCoy once again. Now back. Driving through the lane, and they're going to call a jump ball on the play. It's going to go Bengals ball. Now entering for the Cardinals, going to be number 11, Arnez Winchester. Cardinals lead 7 6, Bengals ball. Davis across midcourt. Kicks out wide to Williamson, drives baseline, gets it down to Spikes. Spikes waits a second, puts it up and in, and one. Jonathan Spikes. Angles doing a great job early on of taking advantage of opportunities down low. Jonathan Spikes, the sophomore, six foot. Puts his one free throw up and it's off. Rebounded by Shaw, it's Vaughn Hunter. Here we go, here's uh, Augusto. All the way the other way. He loses the ball, Spikes picks it up. Here he goes, all the way to the rack. And he's gonna get fouled, he'll go to the line once again. Jonathan Spikes will shoot two. Jonathan Spikes showing his big presence out there early on. They'll shoot two at the line. The Bengals lead 8-7. Spikes first free throw is up and he got it. Subbing in for the Bengals, it's gonna be Uchenna Njoku as well as Austin Cato. And O'Neal as well as Davis will come off for the Bengals. Spikes knocks the second free throw down. He knocks them both down and the Bengals lead 10-7. Shaw inbounds. And across the middle, moving the ball nicely. Here they go, they've got an open lane. Floater knocks it down. 10-9, Bengals lead with the ball. Cato goes to Njoku. Njoku up to Williamson, Williamson with space. He's gonna drive through the lane, laying it up and he is going to get fouled, but the shot is not going to count. So Williamson will go to the line and shoot two. Tyree Williamson, you'll see him play some varsity time this year. He's been playing with both so far. Tyree Williamson, 14, you see that there on the graphic. That's his varsity number. He's wearing a jersey that matches the JV here this evening, so that's why he's wearing number four. His first free throw's up, and he got it. So it's 11-9, Bengals lead. Ellis comes in to slap his hand. Williamson's second shot on the way. He got them both. Bengals lead 12-9, Shaw inbounds. Almost got it stolen away, here they go. On the near side, now they're gonna get it down low. Pass intercepted by Cato, they're still gonna get their own rebound. But the Bengals are gonna get it back on the second attempt. Ellis the other way. Ellis at midcourt, gives over to Williamson on the left wing. Williamson drives through, loses the ball. Here comes Shaw the other way. It's Augusto to the lane, through the lane, to the rack. Lost the ball. Rebounded by Shaw. Here comes Hunter. Vaughn Hunter drives through the lane, laying it up and in. 12-11, Bengals lead. Nice job by Vaughn Hunter. 
Here comes Ellis on the near side. Goes down to Spike. Spike's thought about going through to Njoku. He'll go back up to Ellis. Ellis to Williamson on the right wing. To Cato in the corner for three. Air ball. But Shaw's going to kick it out, so the Bengals will remain with the ball. Luke Carlton's going to answer for the Bengals. He takes out Tyree Williamson. We also have a substitution for Shaw. It's going to be number 14, Zane Smiley, entering. Carlton will inbound. He's going to get it into Ellis. Ellis goes to Carlton for three. Missed it. Rebounded by Spikes. And they're going to get a foul on the Cardinals. So the Bengals are now on the bonus. They will shoot two shots every time they are fouled. New rules in high school basketball this year. There's no more bonus and bonus plus, just the bonus. It's gonna be Jonathan Spikes shooting two, he hits the first. So instead of it being seven fouls for a one and one, and 10 and a half, it's just five fouls per quarter for two shots. Spikes' second shot is off, but rebounded by the Bengals. And Joku throws it up, missed it. It's gonna be out of bounds off the Cardinals. 147 left to go. Number 20 for Shaw is going to enter. Carlton gets it into Ellis. Ellis fires a deep three. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here we go. Augusta. Across the Bengals logo. It's going to go. Oh, it's picked off by Carlton. Cato picks it up. Throws it into Carlton again. Carlton gets to Ellis. Ellis will slow things down across midcourt. He'll go to Carlton. Carlton on the right wing. Drives. Kicks down low to Njoku who lays it up and off. Just short, a little bit more oomph on the layup, and that's good. The other way. Hunter, across midcourt. Hunter thought about a shot on the right wing. Now he'll kick to uh, Augusto. Now they're gonna throw it down low to Smiley. And now it's back out. Kicking it around. Great passing by the Cardinals. Hunter. Tries to drive through the lane and put up a shot. Rebounded by Shaw. And they're going to get their own rebound and score. We're all tied up at 13. Ellis to Cato for, oh, he thought about a three. Now he'll step up and shoot off the front of the, uh, the iron. Rebounded by Shaw. Augusto. Goes to Hunter. They're gonna get Luke Carlson with a foul. Or, that is incorrect. No foul on the Bengals there. It was on white one. I believe it was a jump ball. So when Joker will inbound to Ellis. <clears throat> Such a relief to have Bengals basketball back at the field house. Nine long months of waiting since the playoff loss to Glenville in the district semifinals. Ellis. Across midcourt. And the right wing. Thought about the left wing to Carlton, now Cato's pass is picked off. Hunter will take it back and lay it up and in. The Cardinals lead with four. Three, two, Carlton throws up a full court shot. Oh, it's off the back of the backboard. And the score after one. It's going to be Shaw, 15, and Benedict in three.
Shaw coming out of East Cleveland. The Bengals, some things to clean up from the first half, maybe make some better passes, but other than that, it's been a pretty evenly matched game so far. Start of the second quarter, it's gonna be Christian Shorter back in the game with Spikes, Njoku, Williamson, and Davis back in the game for the Bengals. <coughs> Hunter inbounds. Hunter across midcourt. And they're gonna throw it over, but it's deflected by the Bengals, so it's not gonna be an over back. Tyree Wilson picks it off, drives to the lane, puts it up off the front of the rim. Bengals try to get it through. They're going to call a foul on Shaw. It's on number five, Quinton Augusto. That's the sh first Shaw foul of the second half. Davis inbounds, trying to get it to Shorter. Shorter will put it up. Oh, nice job. But Spikes goes to Davis, who lays it up and in, and we are tied. Shaw the other way. That's not a three, he was on the line, but he didn't shoot it, Hunter. Now down low, putting it up, Augusto missed a shot, but he'll go to the line and shoot too. Quinton Augusto, Augusto shooting two for the Cardinals. First free throw's up and it's off. I don't think I've ever seen a free throw do that before. It bounced off the rim and then just proceeded to roll on the top of the back. Augusto's second shot for the lead. He knocks that one down. Shaw leads 16 15. Here come the Bengals the other way. Williamson in the corner. Goes to Davis, coming fast pace through the lane, putting it up. Missed it. Shorter puts it back up. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here they go the other way. Augusto playing a huge court presence right now. Augusto drives baseline, puts it up, and in. Shaw takes a three point lead. It's 18 15. Now it's Williamson driving through and scoring. Bengals trail by one, here we go. Shaw driving through the lane, Augusto putting it up. He's gonna be fouled by Christian Shorter. So Shaw will once again go to the line. We have seen them at the line a lot so far in this one. Quite five in the line, two shots. Quinton Augusto. First free throw is spot on. Second free throw on the way from Quinton Augusto. He knocks that one down as well. Shaw leads 20 to 17, they lead by three. Here comes Davis, fast pace on the right wing. Kicks to the corner and Williamson. Williamson back to the right wing and Davis. Up top and Spikes. Now back to the right wing and Davis. Davis takes a three. He knocks it down. Caleb Davis with a three. Tying this game at 20. Here comes Shaw the other way. 
It's Demetrius Jackson on the left wing. Try to kick it to the middle. They're gonna be able to do so and throw it up. Tried to bank it off the backboard, unable to do so. Spikes gets the rebound. It's gonna be out of bounds off Shaw. And goes the ball. across midcourt, goes to Williamson, thought about a three, now he'll drive through the lane, put it up, and he's fouled. Tyree Williamson will go to the line and shoot two. Throws up and good. Williamson's second free throw is up and good. He knocks both down, and the Bengals hold a two point lead. Here's Jackson across midcourt. He'll try and drive through the lane. He lost the ball. And Joku picks it up, goes all the way down the floor to Williamson. Tyree Williamson lays it up and in. Bengals lead 24 20. Here comes Shaw the other way. On the right wing. Goes up top. Driving. He's going to have to look backwards. No, makes a nice move, but that's a travel. Bengals ball once again and a chance for them to start pulling away in this one. Tyrell O'Neal is going to replace Jonathan Spikes. Here comes Caleb Davis. Ellis is checking in for the Bengals at the scores table. Davis goes to Williamson. Williamson drives baseline, pulls up for a jumper. Missed it, rebounded by Shaw. Here they come, fast paced the other way, laying it up and missed it. Rebounded by the Bengals. Williamson the other way, drives through the lane. Off, rebounded by Njoku, puts it up and in, and one. Uchenna Njoku will go to the line to shoot one after a beautiful put back layup and the foul. Two, white 15 and for white 14, blue 11 and blue 32. Joku will shoot one. And he got it. Bengals lead 27-20. The biggest lead of either team here so far. Demetrius Jackson across midcourt. Kicks out to the right wing. That's Jerome Matthews, number three for Shaw. Now he's going to back back out, go up to the right wing. And he's going to drive baseline. They're going to catch Christian Shorter with another foul. We're loving the crowd support that we're seeing already here for this JV matchup. So far in the quarter, both teams with three fouls. Both teams two away from the other team shooting two free throws every time there's a foul. Inbounding for Shaw. Getting it in, and a block on the play. But they're gonna call an offensive foul on the Cardinals. And Joku will rebound. He's been playing a huge role out there. Ellis across midcourt. Eli Ellis goes to Carlton on the left wing. Carlton to the middle and Njoku. Njoku's tripped up. That's a foul on the Cardinals. And Uchenna Njoku will shoot too. Bengals on the bonus for the next 3-0-3.
Uchenna Njoku at the line for the Bengals. His first shot is up and it's off. Second free throw is up and he knocks it down. Bengals 28, Cardinals 20. Bengals have been doing far better here in the second quarter as the Cardinals won the first quarter. Here comes McCoy. We have a foul on the floor. Let's see who that's on. It's going to be on the Bengals. That's their fourth of the quarter. It's going to be Sincere McCoy inbounding for the Cardinals. Gets it down low, but unable to do anything with that. Now, looking for something, kicks out to the left wing. Now, waiting, now driving through the lane, floating it up and off. Rebounded by the Bengals, and Joku. Gets it over to Carlton. Carlton slows things down. Luke Carlton up to the left wing. Carlton over to Ellis on the right wing. Ellis thought about a shot, now he'll drive over towards the corner of the baseline. Up to Carlton, Carlton kicks all the way the other way to Shorter. Shorter on the elbow. All the way over to Ellis, corner three. Off. Here comes Shaw the other way. The big man taking it up to McCoy. McCoy is called with a travel. Emil Reilo enters for the Bengals. Again, he's got a different jersey on tonight. Usually the home team wears white, but it, Shaw, I believe, came with the white jersey, so the Bengals were forced to switch to the blue, and some didn't have the blue. Reilo in the corner. Down in Joku, and Joku out to the corner, fires a three. That's all. Rebounded by Shaw. They'll take a three. It's off the front iron. Rebounded by Njoku. There go the Bengals the other way. They've got Shorter in the corner. He thought about a shot. Now he'll drive in, go down to Reilo, who puts it up and in. Bengals lead 30 20. Yamil Reilo gets the shot up and in. That's stolen away by the Bengals. Njoku is playing a huge impact. Ellis goes down to him. Hey, he's unable to get the shot up in it. Shaw the other way, fast pace through the lane, putting it up and they score. That's a nice job by Choro Matthews to put it up and in. Ellis. Goes to Njoku, Njoku to Reilo in the corner. He's being trapped by two guys. They're gonna get him with a foul and Yamil Reilo will go to the line and shoot two. First free throw is good. Well, Carlton re-enters for the Bengals. He'll take out Uchenna and Joku. Second free throw is off. Rebounded by Shaw. Here they go the other way. On the left wing, dribbling towards the middle. Kicks out. In the middle now, it's Hunter. Hunter thought about driving through the lane. Almost stolen away by Williamson. Tyree Williamson diving on the ground. Shaw's going to get it back. In the corner for three. Missed it. Rebounded by Carlton. Luke Carlton is fouled, and Luke Carlton will go to the line and shoot two. New foul rule playing a huge impact thus far. Luke Carlton's first shot is up and good. Luke Carlton knocks it down. 36.8 left to go in the first half. 
Bengals have played much better here in the second quarter. Second free throw is up and off. Rebounded by Shaw. Almost lost the ball. Slowing things down. 33 seconds left. Here they go. Cross midcourt. Ellis on. It's Augusto. He kicks out to Hunter. Hunter on the left wing. Stops. He'll go back out to McCoy. McCoy goes to Augusto once again. Up top to Hunter. Hunter on midcourt. Driving. 15 seconds left. Almost lost the ball. They're going to get it back. He lost his dribble, now he'll go, have to go back out to Augusto. Augusto drives and fires. Miss. Rebounded by the Bengals. Five, four seconds. Stolen back by Shaw. They're gonna put it up right before the buzzer. And so, your score at halftime. It's gonna be Benedict 32, Shaw 24. Bengals have played very well thus far, especially in that second quarter. That was key for them. We'll take a short break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'll be back shortly before the start of the third quarter.
right back from halftime. Bengals lead 32-24 here in our JV matchup. So far, <clears throat> Jonathan Spikes leads the Bengals. Uh, excuse me, Tyree Williamson leads the Bengals with four shots made. Jonathan Spikes has made three shots. Uchenna Njoku has made two. And then Carlton and Rayilo have made one, respectively. So ready to get this second half of action underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Starting the second half out there for the Bengals. It's gonna be shorter, O'Neal Williamson. And then that's Kamari Carter. So we'd like to make a correction since uh, usually the home jerseys are white. Shaw is wearing white this evening, so the Bengals are first to wear blue. The numbers are not the same numbers that we had on our records. So it's actually Kamari Carter. We've been calling him Caleb Davis. That's on me. Kamari Carter is out there wearing number 32. Speaking of him, in the corner, he's going to kick down to Ellis. Eli Ellis puts it up and missed. Rebounded by Shaw. 32-24. Bengals lead. Here comes Shaw the other way. It's McCoy for three, he missed it. Rebounded by Tyree Williamson. Here's Kamari Carter. He's gonna go up to Ellis, Eli Ellis. Drives down the baseline, try to get it through to O'Neal. He lost the ball, rebounded by Shaw. Here we go the other way. Down low, they're gonna lose the ball. It's gonna be Bengals ball. Kamari Carter. Up to Ellis, Ellis across midcourt. Eli Ellis goes to Tyree Williamson, to Kamari Carter down low, and they're gonna get Shaw with a foul. So far in this one, Shaw has 12 fouls, Benedictine has three. Kamari Carter will inbound. He'll go into Ellis. Ellis will go up top to Williamson. Williamson through the lane. Lays it up, and in! And the foul! Tyree Williamson! They'll go to the line and shoot one. Bengals lead by 10. Tyree Williamson looking to make it more. It's up and in. Or excuse me, he missed it. The other way to McCoy. And lost ball's gonna go Bengals way. Not sure what I was talking about there, seeing Tyree made his free throw. Kind of Missed that call as Carter drives baseline, rebounded by Shaw. Yeah, I thought, thought something different than what uh, actually happened and what came out of my mouth, so. There comes Shaw the other way. Up top to McCoy. McCoy will go to Augusto. Then a corner three on the way from Shaw is missed. Rebounded by Tyrell O'Neal. 34-24, Ellis to Williamson, who goes down low to O'Neal. He missed it again. Rebounded by Shaw. Here we go the other way. Fast pace, Shaw's been coming down the floor. They're gonna miss a layup. It's rebounded by Shaw though. Augusto puts it up and in. And it's 34-26. Bengals lead. Here comes Kamari Carter. Goes over to Eli Ellis, thought about a shot. Now he'll go to Tyree Williamson, who will fire. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here we go the other way. It's Devondre Taylor, and that's number two. Now it's Augusto driving all the way in. Rebounded by O'Neal. Carter goes all the way up to Williamson, but it's picked off by McCoy. McCoy the other way. Down low. Slowing things down. Now driving baseline, throwing it up, missed. Rebounded by O'Neal. 
Here comes Ellis the other way. Williamson drives baseline, lays it up and in. Tyree Williamson, a nice job there. Bengals lead 36-26. Here comes Shaw, McCoy, playing meaningful minutes as well as Augusto. McCoy will fire for three, off the backboard and out. Rebounded by Shaw. Now in the corner, a nice pass down low and they missed. Rebounded by Shaw once again. McCoy fires. Off once again, rebounded by Shorter, goes up to Tyree Williamson. Williamson makes a nice move, puts it up, and gets the foul. Tyree Williamson will go to the line and shoot two. We've seen Williamson at the line a bunch here tonight. First free throws off. Jonathan Spikes re-enters for the Bengals, replacing Tyrell O'Neal. Bengals lead by 10. Carter will come out. Williamson will shoot his second free throw. Williamson's free throw is up and off. He missed them both. Rebounded by Shaw. Here they come the other way. Augusto. Stolen away by Kamari Carter. He drives and scores. Kamari Carter with a beautiful job. Shaw breaking the press. And Caleb Shorter gets in there. Williamson the other way. He'll slow things down. Carter up to Ellis. Ellis for three. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. 3.02 left to go. Shaw the other way. In the corner, drives up. Now towards the middle. He'll go over to Devondre Taylor. Taylor down low, driving, throwing up a jump shot, and they're going to get their own rebound. Putting it up once again. Missed it again. And we have a whistle and a foul. That's on the Cardinals. Bengals ball. Carter up to Ellis. Ellis on the left wing, waiting. Now he'll drive towards the middle. Ellis will kick out to Williamson. Thought about a three. Now he'll drive in, take a jumper off. Rebounded. It's gonna fly out of bounds, and it's gonna be sharp ball. So far, if we take a look, Benedictin is 13 from 42 at the, uh, from the field. Shaw is 10 of 32. So, Benedictin, has just taken more shots. That's been the key here today. Shaw with an open lane. Now he's going to kick out. Thought about a three. Now he'll take a three. He, he knocks it down. Oh, the bank is open. Knocking it down off the glass. Williamson the other way. Kicks out to Spike. Spikes for three. He knocks it down. Jonathan Spikes knocks the three-pointer down. And the Bengals lead 41-29. Shaw the other way. Up top, kicks out wide. Winchester goes up to Taylor. Taylor, now Winchester in the corner. Arnez Winchester, and now a three on the way from Shaw, and he knocks it down. And the Cardinals and Bengals trading threes here. 1.30 to go in the third quarter of action. Ellis over to Komari Carter. Thought about going to the corner of Spikes. He'll drive forward, go, try to go down low to Williamson. It's picked off by the Cardinals. They had an open lane. They're going to slow things down. Now it's a three on the way from Augusto. He missed it. Rebounded by Tyree Williamson. On the ground. It's going to be out of bounds. Shaw ball. Austin Cato will re-enter for the Bengals. Tyree Williamson. Extremely aggressive player out there. He's making a huge impact for the Bengals. Shaw inbounds, fires up a three. Off the back of the rim. 
Rebounded by Augusto, puts it up, missed it. Rebounded by Shaw once again, and this time they're gonna get a foul. So they'll go to the line and shoot two. Shot is up and he missed it. Jerome Matthews will re-enter for Shaw. Unfortunately, we do not have this number 20 on our roster, so we can't tell you exactly who he is. He misses both shots. And Shaw's gonna get the ball back. The Shaw Cardinals JV team is led by head coach Ricky Coleman with assistants Nate Barnes, Marv Cross, Mike Crawford, and Mike Cross. Shaw inbounds. In the corner, they're gonna try and drive up. They're gonna keep it in the corner. Taylor goes now in the corner. He's gonna drive, kick a nice pass, and Shaw scores. It's a seven point game with 45 seconds left. Shaw making a little bit of a push here at the end of the third quarter. Carter in the middle. Amari Carter's gonna drive to the corner. Tyree Williamson, Williamson almost lost the ball. And a late foul called. Let's see what the call is here. Foul is on White two. And they're gonna get Shaw with the foul. And the Bengals are now, they're now on the bonus. So they should be shooting here. That is correct. Tyree Williamson will shoot them for the Bengals. Bengals lead 41-33 with 31 seconds left. Crowd filing in for the varsity matchup after this one. Williamson at the line, he'll shoot two. First one is up, and he missed it. Showing visible frustration with himself. He knocks the second one down, 42-34. Bengals lead, here comes Shaw the other way. Up top. Now he'll go down low to Vaughn Hunter. Missed the shot, rebounded by Williamson. They're gonna get to Kamari Carter. Carter, across half court. 10 seconds left in the third quarter. Carter goes up to Spikes. Spikes with five. Lost the ball, Bengals ball. 3.7 left to go. Mari Carter inbounds to Austin Cato. Cato with three. Up to Williamson, lost the ball. That'll be the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three, it's Shaw 34, Benedict in 42.
So it'll be Kato, Ellis, Shorter, Spikes, and Njoku out there to start the fourth quarter for the Bengals. Shaw will start with the ball. They're gonna get it in. And stolen away, Ellis. Slows it down, goes down low to Njoku, who scores. Uchenna Njoku gives the Bengals a 10 point lead. Here comes Shaw, 6.44 left to go. Shaw, nice passing, now driving through the lane, putting it up and missed it. Rebounded by uh, the Bengals. Ellis. Eli Ellis goes to Cato. Cato with an open three. He knocks it down. Austin Cato. Timeout, Shaw. like to remind you that you can purchase tickets for all the winter sports events this winter that includes wrestling basketball hockey uh, just head on over to banglesathletics.com slash buy dash online dash tickets uh, adult uh, tickets are eight dollars online during the pre-sale and ten dollars at the gate and students it's five dollars uh, pre-sale or at the gate and then for wrestling Benedictine students are free. No refunds or exchanges unless the event is canceled or postponed. Tickets required for all students and adults. And no outside food or drinks are, are permitted in Bengals athletics facilities. Shaw will inbound. Bengals lead 47-43. Bengals have not used a single timeout here tonight. We've seen a lack of them, honestly. As Augusto throws it up, it's gonna be rebounded by Shaw. They're gonna throw up a floater and score. And Joku kicks it into Ellis. Ellis slowing things down. To Njoku, Njoku to Spikes. Spikes pivoting. And they're going to catch the Bengals with a foul, it appears. I could, no, I, I'm wrong about that. They, uh, it was a violation on the Bengals. Here comes Shaw the other way. Stolen away by Njoku. Njoku being trapped along the baseline. He stepped out of bounds. Shaw gets the ball back. They trail by 11. Inbounded, and they're going to get Jonathan Spikes with a foul on this one. That's the first of the quarter by any team. Inbounded for Shaw. Here they come. They get it in. Moving the ball around. Driving. Jumper. Missed it. Rebounded by Njoku. Uchenna Njoku gets to Eli Ellis. Here come the Bengals the other way. Eli Ellis. Ellis drives towards the baseline. He's going to kick it out to Shorter. Shorter's going to go out to Cato. Cato picks it up. He's being... Defended by two people. Now he gets it out to Ellis on the right wing. Ellis backs up. Ellis will go down to Njoku. Njoku getting trapped. He's going to go up to, or at least he tried to get up to Spikes, but instead, Shaw the other way. 
a putback score for Jerome Matthews. 47-38, Bengals lead. Spike slowing things down. As you can see, the points in this period, Benedict with just five, Shaw with just four. It's been a fairly low scoring period. Ellis lost the ball. They're gonna get... Referees are gonna talk about this here. Could be controversial. They're gonna get Shaw with a travel is what it looks like here. Benedictine will inbound. We have a timeout call. Let's just take a look in so, uh, so far, fouls on the day. And the fouls have made a huge impact here thus far. Shaw, 16 fouls so far. Benedict with just nine. And like I mentioned before, the new foul rules in OHSAA, it's five fouls per quarter, and then you get a bonus. You shoot two shots, there's no more one and one and then there's no more foul limits per half. So it changes the game up a lot and the strategy that uh, is required. So if you can rack up the fouls for the other team and get yourself, get yourself to the line, it can make a huge impact. Christian Shorter will inbound for the Bengals. They lead by nine with 4.37 left to go. Ellis goes over to Cato. Austin Cato thought about going through to Ellis. Good defense by Shaw. He's going to get over to Spikes. Spikes on the left wing, drives, shoots, and scores! Jonathan Spikes gives the Bengals an 11 point lead. 49 38, 4.20 left to go. Here comes Shaw. It's Vaughn Hunter on the far side. Jonathan Spikes got in there. They're gonna get him with a foul. That's the Bengals' second of the quarter. We've seen not as many fouls in this quarter so far. Shaw inbounds. <clears throat> they get it down low and they're able to put it up and in. Bengals lead 40-49, Cato, pull up jumper, he scores, Austin Cato. With a pull up jumper, getting the job done here. There goes Shaw, the other way. It's Vaughn Hunter, goes over to Jerome Matthews, and now it's Augusto up top. He's gonna kick all the way over to Vaughn Hunter once again, they're gonna get him with a travel. Bengals ball with 3.35 left to go. Bengals just trying to hold on to their lead here. Here comes Cato. Or excuse me, Ellis. Spikes for three. He knocks it down. Jonathan Spikes for three. That's a huge shot. Here comes Shaw the other way, Vaughn Hunter. Up top, Hunter on the right wing. Tries to drive past Njoku. Here comes Njoku the other way. It's gonna be picked up by Shaw, but it's gonna go back to Njoku. Njoku driving, kicking it shorter in the corner. Now back out to Ellis on the far side wing. Ellis, down with a shorter, shorter, kicks to the corner, and Cato for three. It's off, rebounded by Shaw, the other way. Hunter, 
through the lane and scores. A nice draw. Ellis, pass is intercepted. Here comes Shaw once again. To the corner, driving baseline. Jumper, missed it. Rebounded by nobody. It's gonna be out on the Bengals. Oh, Carlton's gonna enter for the Bengals. We have a timeout, Shaw. Let's look at the line score thus far. Shaw won the first quarter. They outscored the Bengals 15-13 in the first, but the Bengals with an explosive second quarter that propelled them. Then the third was fairly equal, and the Bengals once again winning this fourth quarter. Although that second quarter is what they're going to look back on and see is the key to success here this evening against the Cardinals. That, that was huge for them, outscoring the Cardinals by 10 points in the second. They've just got out, last the Cardinals for the next two minutes and 12 seconds. Shaw will start with the ball on their own side. Augusto will inbound. Three on the way. It's missed, rebounded by Shaw once again. Sincere McCoy kicks over to Jerome Matthews who kicks back to McCoy for three. He knocks it down. Sincere McCoy with a big three, cutting the lead down to nine. Here's Cato in the backcourt, slowing things down. Cato taking his time, goes up to Jonathan Spice. Spice drives through the lane. Oh, he missed the layup, but Njoku gets the rebound and puts it up and in. Uchenna Njoku with a big shot and score. Shaw the other way, in the corner. Not about a shot, now he'll go back up top. It's picked off by Cato. Wrestling for the ball, Cato tips it towards the Bengals' side. Shaw ends up with it. And now McCoy. Time is a wasting if the Cardinals are looking for any sort of comeback. McCoy almost stolen away. Shaw's going to be able to lay it up and get the foul. Good hustle, I see. Foul's on blue one, white three at the line, two It's shots. going to be Jerome Matthews at the line, shooting two. This is the first. Free throws have played a key part in this game so far. Second free throw is missed as well. Rebounded by the Bengals. Cato will fire it up to Njoku, but it's picked off by Shaw. With just over a minute left to go. Here they go the other way, through the lane, putting it up. And they got him with a charge. That's a huge momentum builder for the Bengals. Jonathan Spikes takes the charge. Carlton will inbound to Cato. Bengals lead by 11, 56, 45. Minutes ago here in regulation. Cato will drive to the hoop, putting it up and scoring Austin Cato. 58-45. Here we go the other way. It's gonna fly out of bounds. Bengals ball once again with 43.9 left to go. So entering for the Bengals, sweet Dariel, Raelo, Raelo, Nate Leckman, Ryan Wintrick. as well as, apologies folks, the numbers are really throwing us off with the jerseys here, because they're wearing jerseys that they don't normally wear. I believe that's Jay Con White, as well as Carlton who's been in there.
Galton will inbound. Ray Lowe will go back to Carlton. Carlton, 37 seconds left. Carlton gets it up to Ray Lowe. Bengals with time. Wintrick in the corner. Thought about a three. Go back. It's going to go out of bounds. Shaw ball with 26.9 left to go. After the final buzzer sounds, we'll give you a quick post-game recap of this one. And then we'll get prepped and ready to go for varsity. As Shaw just loses the ball there. Varsity set to start at about 6 o'clock. No guarantees on that, though. Raylo with 19, 18 left to go. Carlton. And that will just about do it. Carlton fires it across to Ray Low. Seven seconds, six, and the Bengals are going to dribble this one out. Nope. The final score here in this one, the JV Bengals are victorious by a final of 58 to 45. A great tone setter in this one. The JV Bengals victorious over the JV Cardinals. Again, by a final of 58-45. We'll take a look at some quick statistics from this one. Benedictin with 10 fouls as opposed to Shaw with 17. That adds up once you get the you know free throws going. Shaw had much more rebounds with 32 on the night. Benedictin with only 20. And uh, the percentage is not great from either team, but the Bengals shot a bit better, going 21 of 53, Shaw 18 of 54. So once again, the final here from tonight's JV basketball game. It's Benedict in 58, Sh Shaw 54. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse for varsity basketball action.
Benedictine with a record of 10 and 15 last season. They made the district semifinals. That's their best finish since head coach Chris Salata took over the Bengals in 2021. He now has three starters back, led by 6'1 senior guard Chris Smith, 6'2 forward Damone Darman, plus 6'0 junior Meek Black. This will be Salata's most experienced team since he took the reins with eight returning players. The Bengals also added 5'11 freshman guard Tyree Williamson, whose father is on staff and a 1994 Bennington graduate. You may have seen him in the JV game. Plus, sophomore Tyrell O'Neal, who also played some minutes in that JV game. He's a football standout on the defensive line, and he is the Bengals' biggest player. The Bengals come in with a little bit of a lack of size, but the question is, how will they be able to make up for it? They come into the 2023-2024 season led by five seniors. Mikel Burt, Chris Smith, Nehemiah Seals, Matt Torres, and Emerson White. Benedictine remains in Division II and once again have an absolute gauntlet of a schedule. The Bengals have quite a few big matchups here at home. They'll play Padua, Cleveland Central Catholic, Revere, St. Ignatius, St. Edwards, University School, Euclid, and Shaney, all from the home hardwood here at Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. The Bengals also have quite a few juniors on the squad with John Horn, Damone Darman, Noah Whistler, Joseph Pomian, Jackson Stoltz, and Bryce Mateen all looking to play a role on this year's team. Two sophomores, Tyrell O'Neill and Kamari Carter, both played in that JV game. Also made the squad as well as freshman Tyree Williamson. He's the only freshman on the squad, but he made a huge impact in that JV game as we saw. Buzzer rings and we are just about started, uh, ready to get things underway. And we at some point are going to send the microphone down to Bengals PA announcer Matt Wilson for the starting lineups as well as the uh, memorial for Darrell Dunning 23. The Bengals, they look to top the postseason success from last season to make another run this year. Make sure to come out to support the Hoops Bengals this year. We need your support all season long from the Fieldhouse. Bengals looking to have one of their most successful seasons in recent history. So we're going to send the microphone down to Bengals PA announcer, Mr. Matt Wilson, for tonight's starting lineups, introductions, and memorials.
Spirit. God our Father, you have created us to strive for the best. Grant to all athletes, coaches, and fans the strength to pursue excellence during this event and in all that we do. We pray for the safety of these athletes. Protect them from injury and harm. And finally, we pray for your grace that you would provide us with the endurance to pursue our heavenly prize, eternal life in your Son. Amen. Amen.
All right, great job, Mr. Matt Wilson, on those introductions, as well as the ceremony for Daryl Dunning. We are just about ready to get the home opener underway from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Chris, or excuse me, John Horn will tip it off for the Bengals, and we are just about ready to get this season underway. John Horn will tip it off. Bengals win the tip off. Damone Dorman the other way, and he slams it home. What a start for the Bengals. Damone Dorman. That's one way to put the energy in this place. Here comes Shaw now. Story win by Matt Torres. He'll go the length of the floor. He lays it up and in. The energy is high. Bengals lead 4 nothing. Shaw slowing things down. It's Jarrell Carter. Jarrell Carter will go down low. It's tipped away. Out of bounds off the Bengals. Kevin Graves will inbound for Shaw. Gets it into Cheney, who shoots a three. He missed it. Rebounded by Shaw, who puts it back up. Missed it again. Rebounded by the Bengals. Meek Black throws it all the way down the floor to Chris Smith. Unable to get a hold of it. It'll be Shaw basketball. Here's Shaney. Goes it over to Jarrell Carter. Carter on the far side goes down low to Kevin Graves. Blocked by Demo Dorman. They're going to get him with a goaltending. Those points are going to count. 4-2. Here comes Chris Smith for the Bengals. Slowing things down across half court. Gives it to Meek Black. Back to Chris Smith. Smith lobs it up to Black. And he's unable to do much with it. Here comes Zaire Shaney. Hunter Graham fires. He missed it. Rebounded by the Bengals. Chris Smith the other way. Lost the ball. Shaw. Goes to Shaney. Shaney on the left wing. Drives towards the middle. Now it's Hunter Graham. Graham to the right wing. And now a corner three on the way from Shaw. And they missed it. Rebounded by the Bengals. Damone Dorman. Meek Black will take it up the floor. Meek Black kicks in the corner to Matt Torres for three. It's off. Rebounded by John Horn. He puts it up. And the foul. Shaw fouls on number two, Zaire Shaney. That's his first. John Horn will go to the line and shoot two. John Horn's first free throws up and good. The Bengals take a 5 2 lead. John Horn's second free throw of two is good. Here's Hunter Graham, he'll inbound it to Spinks. Spinks goes over to Shaney. Shaney, all the way down the floor. It's a charge! Bengals ball! The Bengals have been great this season at taking charges. There's another one. Shaney is charged with the foul and the charge. Shaw with two fouls here already. Meek Black across the middle. Looks for Chris Smith who puts it up. And it's off. Rebounded by the Cardinals. Shady goes up to Spinks who fires and missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Shady fires. Missed. Uh, yep, missed it. Rebounded by John Horn of the Bengals. Chris Smith fires up the floor to Meek Black. Meek Black thought about a three. Now he'll drive in. Jumper from the free throw line and scores. 8-2 Bengals lead. Timeout! Shaw! We'll use this as a reminder. The next home game here at Truman Memorial Fieldhouse is Padua and Benedictine on Youth Nights. 
youth basketball players can wear their team's jersey for free admission to the game. We will not be streaming the game, the Bennington Media Department, but it will still be streamed live without commentary and graphics on our Huddle Focus camera. So the Huddle Focus, it tracks the action from up top, so. Benedictine leads 8-2 early on. Shaw will inbound. Here we go. Shaney. Shaney will go towards the left side, drives through the lane, lays it up that side of bounds. Bengals ball. Energy is high so far the field house. Bengals lead 8-2. They've had a great start to this one. Shaw comes in here with a record of one and three. The Bengals are coming off a huge win at Lake Catholic. Bryce Mateen hit a big three as the De Mo Darman works down low, tries to put it up, but had a bad angle on it. The Bengals have momentum coming in here. They went out to Erie PA to play in the uh, Erie Round Ball Classic. They made it to the championship of that game as Shaw's gonna get their own rebound here. Shaney up top on the right wing. Calls up for Kevin Graves who fires it. Rebounded by the Bengals, but it's gonna be stolen back away by Shaw. Shady for three, missed it. Rebounded by Matt Torres of the Bengals. He has, or excuse me, Chris Smith. He dribbles off his foot and loses the ball. What a start for the Bengals early on. They hold a bunch of momentum right now. Andrew Spinks. Down the floor up to Alonzo Ware. Now it's over to Shaney. Shaney on the left wing. Goes down low. And they're gonna get Benedict with a foul on Damone Dorman. So Hunter Graham will go to the line and shoot two. His first free throw is off. Nice little student section appearance here tonight, especially after the Bengals with a nice student section appearance last night in their 6-1 win over Amherst in a Baron Cup rematch, the hockey team. With dominant goals, Ben Trombetto had two, Mason Rozepka had two, as the free throw was airballed. Ryan Karras had a goal, as well as Ahmad Bates. The Bengals, pure domination over the Amherst Steel last night in hockey action from Cleveland Heights. Check out our hockey team, it's always exciting to watch, and our students love to support them. They love to support all of our teams. Noah Whistler in the game now. It's Matt Torres, kicks out to Chris Smith for three. Hey! Knocks it down! And I don't know if that's... I guess it's gonna count. There, it looked like the ref was waving it off, but a three for Smith down low now. Kevin Gray slays it up and in, and it's 11-4. <coughs> Matt Torres on the other side, corner, drives baseline, kicks out to nobody. It's gonna roll all the way off the scores table. Bryce Mateen now in the game, trying to track it down. It's gonna go out of bounds, Shaw ball. So far, you see the Bengals have shot a lot better from the field. Shaw having trouble in that department. Shaney on the left wing, tries to drive through the lane, pulls up and a jumper is off. Rebounded by Damone Dorman. He's getting it over to Noah Whistler. Bengals will slow things down. Matt Torres with it now. Bengals playing a very fast paced game thus far. Matt Torres on the right wing. He'll go up to Noah Whistler in the middle. Mateen cuts through. Whistle over to Chris Smith. Chris Smith takes a three. It's off the front of the rim. It's gonna roll out of bounds. Shaw ball. Great start so far. The energy inside this uh, the field house right now is electric. We love to see that. There's that student section we were talking about. The support is outstanding. Spinks over to Graham who goes back to Shane. Shaney picks up his dribble and throws it away. Bengals ball.
Joey Pomnian answer, answers for the Bengals. Meek Black is out there with Pomnian, Horn, Mateen, and Whistler. 2.58 to go here in the first quarter. Bengals lead 11-4. Mateen goes over to Meek Black. Meek Black will go to Mateen. Mateen on the right wing. Gives to John Horn up top. Horn goes up to Meek Black. Bengals taking their time, slowing things down now. Meek Black will go out to Pomnian. Pomnian picks up his dribble. He'll go to Black. Meek Black throws it down low to Pomnian, who floats it up and missed. It's going to go out of bounds. Shaw ball. Two thirty-three to go. We also like to see the band making an appearance here at this game. You can see them on the far side on the left of the screen as a corner now up top. Now they're going to kick it down low and they're going to fire up a jumper. It's missed. Rebounded by Meek Black and the Bengals. Here he goes the other way. Pomian has Mateen down low with a little bit too much power on that pass. Whistler tried to save it. It's going to fly out of bounds. Rebound so far as you can see. Bengals have eight, Shaw have four. That's again going to be a key piece that you're going to see here this evening. Fieldhouse is really filling up here for the home opener, and you love to see the support. Shaney driving all the way through the lane, it's thrown away. Mateen gets up to Meek Black, who goes to Whistler. Can Whistler beat his man? Yes, he can, but he missed the layup. He's going to get his own rebound, but that is blocked. And Shaw gets it back. Now they'll slow it down. It's Andrew Spinks. Spinks on the right side, the near side. Spinks with it again. Fires a three. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. It's Hunter Graham who puts it up, and he's going to get fouled and go to the line. Hunter Graham at the line shooting two. The foul is on Noel Whistler. That's his first team second of the first quarter. Hunter Graham's at the line shooting two. His first free throw is in and out. Jarrell Carter enters for Shaw. And also a number zero that we do not have on a roster. Second free throw is good. 11-5, Bengals lead. Pomnian up to Mateen. Mateen goes to Horn. Now Meek Black on the near side. He'll go towards the middle, through the lane, up, and a nice move all around. He's fouled, and Meek Black is going to go to the line and shoot two. So the foul is on number zero. His last name is Robinson. And he's not listed on the varsity roster that we were providing. That's all right. Checking back in, it's Damone Darman, Matt Torres, and Chris Smith. It's Meek Black at the line, shooting two. First of two free throws is, or excuse me, his second free throw is good. Shaney gets it over to Carter, Terrell Carter. We have a whistle. We are unaware of what that stop at the play was, but it's still going to be Shaw. Ball. Shaw with three fouls thus far, Benedict in with two. That's thrown away by Meek Black. Oh, he did step on the baseline. Yes, he did. A nice steal, but he stepped on the baseline. What are you going to do? Here comes Shaw. Jarrell Carter hands it off to Alonzo Ware. Now it's Robinson up top. Keeps it down low. 
Hunter Graham puts it up and missed. Rebounded by the Bengals. Here comes Meek Black. Goes it up to John Horn. Back to Black. Meek Black thought about a deep three. He'll kick it to Chris Smith instead. He thought about a three. Now he'll drive in, take a step back jumper, and he scores. Chris Smith. He's been one of the leading scorers for the Bengals so far this season. Chris Smith leads the Bengals, averaging 14 points per game as Zaire Shaney knocks it down for Shaw. It's 15-7. Damone Darman does lead the Bengals with free throw percentage, though, with 60%. Meek Black goes over to John Horn. Horn down low to Darman. Darman out to Matt Torres. Now back to Horn. Back to Black on the right wing. Meek Black, Meek Black. Taking his time, eight seconds left in the quarter. Bengals want the last shot. Big Black fires. He knocks it down. That's a three-pointer. That's the end of the first quarter from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'd like to remind you that you can learn more about our admissions program. Click on the QR code on your screen now to schedule a shadow day or you can email admissions at cbhs.edu. Begin your journey to becoming a Bengal. Our admissions program, super friendly, super cooperative, super helpful. I promise you, you'll have a good experience with them. Ready to go for second quarter action from the field house. We'll take a look at some of the statistics from that first half. Uh, Shaw with three fouls, Benedictine with two thus far. Has not played a huge role so far. As far as field goals uh, made and attempted, Benedictine is seven for 14, they're 50%. Shaw is three for 18. They're having a lot harder of a time getting shots to fall. As far as rebounds are concerned, Benedictine with nine, Shaw with six. Fairly even as far as this uh, goes so far, but the Bengals, Dominating on the glass, getting boards when they need to. And they lead 17-7 here early. 10-point lead after, for, after the first quarter. Super excited to be here broadcasting tonight's home opener. It's been a while since we've broadcasted basketball here at Benedictine, but we're hoping to keep it more consistent now as we go. Jarrell Carter up to Hunter Graham. Back to Jarrell Carter. Shaney shoots and missed it. Rebounded by Damone Dorman. Chris Smith. To Meek Black. Meek Black driving through the lane. Firing and he scores. Meek Black knocks it down. There comes Zaire Shaney driving through, kicks it down low to Hunter Graham, who scores. 19-9, Bengals lead. Here comes Chris Smith up the far side. Smith slowing things down. Rolls it out to Meek Black. Meek Black holds it. Lost his dribble and he threw the ball away. Here comes Shaw, Shaney driving through the lane, kicking down low, blocked by John Horn. Jarrell Carter up top to Robinson. Robinson over to Zaire Shaney. Shaney taking his time, fires a three off the front iron. Rebounded by Shaw, Hunter Graham, and we've got a jump ball on the play. That's the Bengals ball. John Horn will inbound to Chris Smith. Smith taking his time in the backcourt. Crosses midcourt into the forecourt. Goes to John Horn. Horn to Meek Black. Meek Black drives through the lane, puts it up. And in, and the foul. Meek Black. Meek Black will go to the line and shoot his and one. The foul's on Jarrell Carter, that's his first. Meek Black's one free throw is up, it's off the front of the rim. 
Shaw's gonna grab the rebound. It's Sire Shaney. Shaney with it. Now he's gonna go up to Terrell Carter. Carter down to Hunter Graham. Graham fires and missed. Rebounded by Matt Torres. Torres is going to be fouled. Matt Torres will inbound. Chris Smith goes to Meek Black. Meek Black to John Horn. John Horn over to Matt Torres. Torres on the near side to Meek Black on the right wing. Fires a three. Excuse me, Chris Smith. It's rebounded by a Hunter Graham. Andrew Spinks is going to drive through the lane, fire it up. And they're going to call a foul on Meek Black. So it's going to be Andrew Spinks going to the line for the Bengals. The foul is on number 21, Meek Black. Andrew Spinks will shoot two. His first free throw is good. 21-10, Bengals lead. And they are really packing this side of the stands. You love to see that support coming from these Bengals students here this evening. And we've got the, the Beaumont High School majorettes down here next to the Shaw High School cheerleaders. You love to see them back at the basketball games as both uh, that second free throw is good. Meek Blacks shoots a three. He missed it, rebounded by Shaw. Here we go the other way. It's Zaire Shaney. Shaney on the right wing, taking his time. Working on Meek Black. Shaney will spot up and fire. He missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. They're going to kick it out for three, and it's off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Shaw once again. And a nice move to get underneath, but it's going to be rebounded by the Bengals. Matt Torres is stopped up. He loses the ball. The other way, and it's going to be a foul. Andrew Spinks is going to go to the line once again. Shot for Andrew Spinks. First of two is good. 21 12, Bengals lead. Jackson Stoltz enters for the Bengals. He's out there with Horn, Smith, Darman, and Meek Black. Second one is good. Chris Smith on the left wing, slowing things down. Makes a nice move to get around. He has an open lane to the basket, and he missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here we go the other way. Spinks drives, baseline to the lane, blocked by John Horn. Putting it up, missing. Rebounded by Shaw. Up again, Hunter Graham missed. Up again, got his own rebound, and he's fouled. Hunter Graham will not back down. So he'll go to the line and shoot two. His first of two is good. The Bengals cannot let free throws kill them here tonight and fouls. No, listen. If you're just tuning in, new rule in OHSA this, this year. Five fouls per quarter and it's two shots. No more one and one. No more seven and ten. No. It's just two free throws after five fouls, and they reset every quarter. He hits both. 21-15, Bengals lead. Here we go the other way. Bryce Mateen in the corner, drives the baseline, kicks it out to Whistler. Whistler makes a nice move. He missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Here comes Hunter Graham. Hunter Graham on the right wing. Gives it up to Carter. Jarrell Carter is going to drive with his left, down low. Stolen away by Chris Smith. Smith with his left hand through the lane, lays it up and in. Chris Smith with a beautiful drive. 23-15, Bengals lead. 
Timeout, Shaw. We'd like to remind you to save the date for the Blue and White Gala 2024, the 22nd annual, March 16th, 2024, support Benedictine High School. And you can access uh, the sponsorships for that gala. They are available for purchase now. Just head on over on our link tree. It's, uh, it's on the screen now. It's gonna be the top one that you're gonna look for for information about sponsorships for uh, the Blue and White Gala. Just head on over to linktr.ee slash Benedictine High School. And then you can also see other information about the athletics at the bottom link right there. Twenty-three, fifteen. Bengals lead. Shaw will have the ball. Here comes Jarrell Carter. A number four has entered a game. That's another person we don't have on our roster. But we'll do our best to figure out who he is as Carter drives through, puts it up, and it's blocked by Nobo Dorman. Here comes Chris Smith the other way. Mateen in the corner, thought about three. He throws it away. Now the other way, Shaw's gonna be able to lay it up and in. Mateen gets it into Jackson Stoltz. Stoltz. Over to Mateen, Mateen back to Stoltz. Stoltz through the lane, gives it up to Darman. Darman puts it up, he gets it knocked away. Here comes Shaw the other way, Gerald Carter on the left wing. Picked off. It's gonna go off. That's off Shaw, Bengals ball. Andrew Spinks re enters for the Cardinals. As well as number two, Zaire Shane. Whistler inbounds to Chris Smith. Here we go. 324 left to go here in the second quarter. Chris Smith drives, goes through the lane, lays it up and missed. Rebounded by Zaire Shaney. Shaney across midcourt. Here he goes in the forecourt, driving through the lane. Quick pace, nice pass. It's going to be missed, and we have a whistle on the play. The ball hit the top of the hoop. I Yes, so it's going to be Shaw basketball. That's off the Bengals. And bounded to Hunter Graham. Graham trying to work on Noah Whistler. He finds a shot. And it rolls in and out. Unlucky for Shaw. They get their own rebound. Try to put it up. They missed again. They get their own rebound again. Try to put it up. They missed again. They get their own rebound. This time it's blocked. Here comes Christmas. Fast pace with Stoltz. Chris Smith all the way to the lane, through the lane, shoots, and we have a foul on the play. That's before the shot. So Chris Smith will go to the line and shoot two. First of two is good. Nehemiah Seals enters for the Bengals. Damone Darman e exits. Chris Smith's second shot is off. Rebounded by Hunter Graham of the Cardinals. Here goes Zaire Shane on the left wing. Drives towards the corner. No kick back out to the wing. And Hunter Graham. Hunter Graham slowing things down. He's going to go all the way up top to Andrew Spinks. Spink working. Spinks working on Stoltz, he'll drive through the lane, fire it up, missed. Hunter Graham got up there, got the rebound, but missed again. Rebounded by the Bengals. Here comes no whistle. Stoltz up to Smith. Smith lost the ball. It's going to be out of bounds. Shaw ball. Right 
Zaire Shaney. Slowly up the floor. Across that Bengals logo. Over to the near side. It's gonna go up on to Graham. Graham back to Shaney. Shaney on the right wing. Goes towards the middle with his left. Now through the lane. Throws it up. Missed it. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Chris Smith. Chris Smith is going to step back, go to Whistler. Whistler is going to try and put it up. And I believe they're gonna call it travel on the play. It's gonna be Shaw Ball. Zaire Shaney. Gets it out for a three. Missed it. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Whistler gets it over to Mateen. Mateen over to Jackson Stoltz. Stoltz to Chris Smith for three. Off. Smith gets his own rebound. Kicks out to Stoltz. Stoltz fires. They got him with a travel. Go through the lane. Mr. Hunter Graham gets up there, gets the rebound and scores. Nice job by Hunter Graham to get that rebound and put it back up. 53 seconds left to go here in the first half. Stoltz gives it off to Whistler. Whistler off his foot. Mateen keeps it in bounds. Bryce Mateen kicks it out to Stoltz. Jackson Stoltz. Oh, a nice job by Shaw and Shaney to keep him there. And Zaire Shaney throws it down. Seals it, bounce to Whistler. Whistler to Chris Smith. Smith trapped immediately, stolen away by Spinks, and he puts it up and in. Shaw storming all the way back, and they've got a chance to tie. Andrew Spinks, how about that? And Shaw looking to take a lot of momentum into halftime. Shaw for the tie. Free throw is good. We are tied at 24. 26 seconds left. Gets it in a weak black. 25, 24. Black on the near side. Across midcourt to the forecourt. Working on Shaney. Meek Black drives all the way through. He's going to be fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Meek Black. Draws the foul. A shooting foul. It is loud here inside the field house this evening. Between the Benedictine students as well as the Shaw cheerleaders, the Shaw fans, the Benedictine cheerleaders. Meek Black misses his first. It's those Shaw cheerleaders, they are making noise over there. Meek Black hits his second. Matt Torres will enter for the Bengals. 25-24, Bengals lead with 15.4 to go. Shaw will inbound. Here's Shaney. Zaire Shaney. Across half court. Working on Matt Torres, he'll go. Through the lane all the way, kicks down low. A short jumper is air ball. Rebounded by the Bengals. Mateen just chucks it. Watch out. And that's your score at halftime. The Bengals lead the Cardinals 25-24. We've got a good one on our hands, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll take a short break from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. We'll be back shortly before the start of the third quarter for the second half of action in our Benedictine basketball home opener 
from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse.
from halftime here at Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Just a little bit over two minutes left to go in halftime. We're gonna take a look at some of those first half statistics. Bengals just lead by one. Shaw has one more foul and the rebounds exactly even so far. Bengals have shot much better so far. 10 of 30 as opposed to Shaw's eight for 46. But it doesn't matter. Shaw is still in this one. Only trailing by one. They had a hot end to the second half. If you want to take a look at the line score. Shaw scored 17 in that second half as uh, where ben Benedict had only scored eight. That was the key factor of why we are so close right now. Benedict didn't dominate the first half. Shaw just not playing their best basketball there. But then the roles reversed. So the second uh, quarter was a lot better for Shaw. Benedict kind of fell off a little bit. Did not have the quarter that they were looking for. So we're just about ready to get this second half of action underway in the home opener. Benedictine has to keep doing what they were doing in the first quarter. And they really have to build the momentum that they had back up. Just over 20 seconds left to go in this halftime. Teams will take the floor and we'll get ready to go. The thing that I believe is most key for the Bengals, keep the momentum. They had the momentum through uh, the start of the game, right out the gate, but Shaw really built up momentum towards the end of the second quarter. Bengals can't let them have that momentum. Benedictine has not used a timeout yet. Shaw has used two. Key for Benedictine, keep making Shaw use those timeouts. Zaire Shaney will take it now. Second half of action underway. Carter with a three, missed it. Rebounded by Damone Darman. Meek Black. Through the lane. Floating it up and scoring. 27-24 Bengals lead. Now it's Zaire Shaney. Keeps it himself, fires a three, missed it. I don't think Shaw has made a three all night long. Chris Smith pull up jumper missed. Rebounded by Zaire Shaney. He is playing a key role for Shaw right now. Through the lane, Zaire Shaney, how about that? And they call a charge. Matt Torres takes the charge, Bengals ball. John Horn will inbound to Chris Smith. Chris Smith on the near side, right across that Flying B logo. He black over to John Horn up top, Horn. Looking for something. He finds Chris Smith on the far side. Down to Darman. Up to Torres for a three. He knocks it down. Matt Torres with a big shot for the Bengals. He gives him a six point lead. Now Shaw with it. Carter, Terrell Carter. On the Bengal Tiger logo. Shaw fires a three. That's off the back of the rim. It's going to be out of bounds. Bengals ball. Chris Smith. Over to Meek Black. Meek Black on the far side. Drives towards the middle. Almost lost his dribble. He picks it back up. Over to Meek Black on the left wing. Or excuse me. Chris Smith. Smith down low to Darman. Darman puts it up and in. Come on, Darman scores. Bengals lead 32-24. And that's exactly what we said. Bengals keeping the momentum going here in that second half. That's key. A three in the way from Shaw. Off, once again, Shaw cannot get anything. 
that's a fall from beyond the arc. You got a We got a Shaw foul. Chris Smith on the right wing. Makes a move, drives to the, uh, to the rack, kicks to back, Torres for three. Hey, knocks it down, Matt Torres. Hot from beyond the arc, Bengals with a great start to the second quarter. They lead 35-24. Now a three on the way from Shaw. Again missed, rebounded by Matt Torres. Torres the other way. He'll go all the way to the basket. He scores. How about that, Matt Torres? Timeout, Shaw. And the Bengals building that momentum that we said they needed. And that's been their key to success here so far. We'd like to remind you that all home games that are not streamed by us here at Benedictine Media will still be streamed live on our YouTube page through Truman Memorial Fieldhouse's huddle Focus camera. So there won't be any commentary or anything like that, but it'll still be streamed live. You'll still be able to watch the action. Uh, no graphics like the one you see here, but it's still great to be able to see that action. An example of when we'll be using that is against uh, Padua. Unfortunately, we just can't stream that game as much as we'd like to because of other events going on throughout Benedictine Athletics that night. I believe hockey plays. And the availability is just not going to uh, pan out, unfortunately. Remember, Padua is youth night. You can wear your jersey for free admission to the game. Andrew Spinks floats it up. LaShawn Clark was able to corral it. Speaking of Clark up top, he fires a three. It's off. Shaw cannot get a three-pointer to fall. The Bengals lead by 13. Matt Torres once again loses the ball. Now here comes Spinks the other way. He's gonna get blocked by Meek Black. Meek Black the other way. Throws it over to Chris Smith. Chris Smith for three. It's off. Rebounded by Matt Torres who puts it up. He's blocked. Back to Chris Smith. Chris Smith will slow things down. 4.52 left to go. Chris Smith drives with his left through the lane. Down low to Darman. Darman crosses it. Kicks out to Meek Black for three. It's off. Rebounded by Shaw. Hunter Graham almost threw the ball away. LaShawn Clark for three. Another missed three-pointer from Shaw. Matt Torres gets in there. Forces the jump ball. Bengals ball. Bengals with all the momentum right now, and that's exactly what they needed. That was the key to success here in the second half. Can't even begin to tell you how loud it is in here. Hard to even hear yourself talk as Smith goes down to John Horn. Horn to Darman. Darman kicks the ball out of bounds. Shaw ball. The energy is high. And the support is just great. Andrew Spinks across midcourt. Spinks kicks it over to Hunter Graham for three. He missed it. Clanked off the back of the iron. Meek Black is hit in the face. It's going to be Bengals ball. That's a foul on Shaw. He looks all right. He's smiling. That's good to see. Meek Black playing a big impact so far. Chris Smith. Over to Meek Black. Meek Black will drive with his left. Throws down the low to Horn. Horn dodges two guys and lays it up and in. Great job by John Horn away from the guys to jump. And the Bengals have jumped all the way out to a 39-24 lead. Here's Spinks. And now it's 
Clark back to Spinks in the corner now. With Robinson, now it's Spinks. He'll kick to the corner, Shaw for three. Finally, they get one to fall. John Horn will inbound. And it's stolen away by Shaw. It's going to go out of bounds. Bengals ball. 3.15 left to go. Chris Smith lost his dribble. Stolen away by Shaw. Hunter Graham. Now it's Andrew Spinks up the near side on the left wing. Kicks it over to Robinson. Robinson floats it up and missed. Rebounded by Shaw. Spinks floats it up and scores. Andrew Spinks with a bucket. Cuts the lead to 10. Big Black gets it into Chris Smith. Smith back to Black in the backcourt. Make Black brings it forward across midcourt into the forecourt, through the lane. Chris Smith with speed, or excuse me, Meek Black with speed. And DeMond Darman grabbed the rebound, got fouled, and we Bengals ball. That's the team's fourth here in the third quarter. They're ninth overall in this game. We haven't seen a bonus yet as Noah Whistler enters. Bengals will inbound, Chris Smith. Smith, a lob pass in, Shaw tipped it out. Bengals ball. Meek Black inbounds to Chris Smith. Smith being guarded closely by Spinks. And they're gonna get Andrew Spinks with a foul. So Chris Smith will go to the line and shoot two. Bengals on the bonus now. Chris Smith's first of two is off. Forty twenty nine Bengals lead. Andrew Spinks over. Now back to Spinks. Spinks up top. Back over for three. Missed it. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Whistler gives it to Black. Meek Black fires it all the way up the court to Chris Smith, who lays it up and in. What a move, Chris Smith. Nicely done. Now Andrew Spinks. Spinks backs off, guarded closely by Chris Smith. Now Hunter Graham fires. He missed it, rebounded by Meek Black. Meek Black driving up the far side. Trying to go corner to Smith, but it's picked off by Andrew Spinks. Spinks pull up jumper, off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Shaw. They get it back out to Spinks. And now it's Clark for three, and he knocks it down. That'll cut the lead back to 10. Meek Black gets it up to Matt Torres. Torres making nice moves. Torres will step on the baseline. Oh, no, excuse me. It's a timeout, Benedictine. tickets for all, purchase tickets for all of the winter sports events. Just head on over to BengalsAthletics.com slash buy dash online tickets for all events. Adults, $8, pre-sale online. 
and ten dollars cash at the gates for students. It's five dollars cash at the gate or five dollars pre-sale. But the students are free for wrestling matches. No refunds or exchanges unless the event is canceled or postponed. Tickets are required for all students and adults at events where tickets are sold. No outside food or drinks are permitted. Forty-two, thirty-two. Bengals lead with the ball. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. Inbounded to Darman. Darman gives off to Meek Black. Meek Black with a spin move, drives baseline, floats it up and missed. Rebounded by Andrew Spinks. Here they go the other way. Shaw trying to get that momentum back and he kicked the ball away, but the Bengals unable to grab a hold of it. Kamari Carter has entered the game. You saw him in the JV game. He played a very impactful role, played very meaningful minutes. Meek Black will inbound to Kamari Carter. Carter tipped up in the air. Meek Black gets it down. Back up to Carter. Kamari Carter lost the ball. Shaw thought about a three. 53 seconds left to go here in this third quarter. A three on the way. Off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Kamari Carter. And they're going to get a foul on Hunter Graham. So Kamari Carter will go to the line and shoot two. First of two is up and off. 46.3 remaining here in the third quarter of action. From Truman Memorial Fieldhouse in our Benedictin basketball home opener, Kamari Carter's second free throw on the way. Bounces twice off the rim, missed them both. Out of bounds, Ben er, Shaw ball. Andrew Spinks will take it forward. Across the flying B. Three on the way in the corner. Airballed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Stolen away by Kamari Carter. Fast pace down the floor. Laying it up and in. Kamari Carter. 44-32, Bengals lead. Spinks for three. Off, rebounded by nobody. It's gonna go out of bounds. Shaw ball. Here comes Carter, Kamari Carter. Driving through the lane, laying it up, missed it. <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. And what a half it was. Forty-four thirty-two, the Bengals lead. Quite the half they had. They outscored Shaw by eleven points in that quarter. That's exactly what they needed. And you can see down there, Emerson White, that was our Football play-by-play -play man uh, for the football season. Once again, we'll plug our link tree. If you go on to linktree slash HS, you can view the link to an interview. Uh, last week, Emerson and Benedictine Pre President Mr. Schroeder went on Good Morning Cleveland and did an interview featuring Benedictine High School. They did a great job promoting our school and, you know, really helping the audience on Good Morning Cleveland uh, get a better idea of what Benedictine is all about. 
Last quarter of action here on the day during our home opener. JV started us off with a win. Let's see if Varsity can do some of the same. Shaw will start with the ball, Spinks will inbound. Can the Bengals hold on for one more quarter? Spinks up top for three. Missed it off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Shaw. Back out to Spinks. Spinks off the ball. Smith gets it back. Goes all the way up to Florida. Torres. Matt Torres lays it up and all. Oh, unlucky roll. And it rolls off. Spinks gets the ball back for Shaw. Spinks taking his time on the right or the left wing. Kicks over to the right wing. He'll go back to Spinks. Spinks. Now back up top to Spinks. Spinks over to LaShawn Clark. Back to Spinks. Spinks taking his time. He'll go over back to Clark. Clark down low to Hunter Graham. He's blocked by Damo and Darman. Hunter Graham gets it back, kicks it out to Clark. Clark back up to Spinks. Spinks thought about a shot. Now he'll go back to Clark. Clark on the right wing. Goes back to Spinks. Shaw taking their time. Down 11. Or excuse me, 12. Fighting for it in the air. Shaw's going to end up with it. Three on the way. Off the back of the iron. Rebounded by Matt Torres. Here they go the other way. Matt Torres slows things down. Gets it up to beat Black. Black on the left wing. Retreats, he'll throw it, and Shaw's gonna get it back. Firing it down to Robinson, Matt Torres comes out of nowhere, they're gonna call him for a foul, and the Benedictine fans do not agree with that. They're gonna get Matt Torres with a foul. Carter, Shaney, and Kevin Graves check back in for Shaw. Andrew Spinks up top. He'll swing it over to Carter. Carter on the right wing. Back to Spinks. Shaw is playing a much slower pace game of basketball as Spinks pulls up from three and he knocks it down. A big shot for the Cardinals. 44-35. Bengals lead the Cardinals. Chris Smith down the floor. He'll go to John Horn for three. He knocks it down. Chris John Horn for three. Now Hunter Graham in the corner. Shaney goes to Spinks. Spinks on the right wing. Back to Shaney. Shaney taking his time, working on Matt Torres. He'll kick to the corner and Jarrell Carter. He's gonna be fouled by John Horn. So the Bengals with two fouls early on here in the second quarter. We'll take a look at the fouls overall tonight. John Horn is in pain, but he's gonna get charged with the foul. 12 fouls for Shaw here tonight, seven for the Bengals, but the Bengals lead the Shaw count here in the second. Noah Wensler re-enters for the Bengals. Carter will inbound. Bengals lead by 12. Carter has tipped up in the air. Torres gets it down. That Torres slows it down. And the Bengals will run in offense. Meek Black goes to Darman down low to Noah Wensler and he scores. What a play drawn up by Coach Salata, and he kind of gestures at the players. I told you so. That's, I love to see that. Andrew Spinks over to Shaney. Shaney waiting, he'll drive. Pull up jumper, missed it. Rebounded by, they're gonna call it off of Hunter Graham, so it'll be Bengals ball. Here comes Chris Smith, down the near side. Looking around, 
Went looking for something. He's going to go all the way across the court to Meek Black, who tips it to Matt Torres. Back to Meek Black on the far side. Meek Black kicks in the corner to Chris Smith. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Shaw. Bengals ball. Inbounded to Chris Smith. Smith finds Black. Bengals stalling time. Just got to hold on to that lead. Chris Smith on the right wing. Dorman set a screen. Now it's Whistler. Whistler tries to get it over to Meek Black, who will drive baseline. Kicks out to Chris Smith. Smith pull up jumper. Missed it. Rebounded by Shaw. Zaire Shaney. Goes to Spinks. Spinks back to Shaney. Spinks, Shaney for three. Off the front of the rim. Back to Spinks. Spinks will shoot a three. He knocks it down. That'll cut the Bengals' lead to 11. They couldn't hit anything from beyond the arc early on as Matt Torres fires a three. He knocks it down. Couldn't hit it. Uh, as far as Shaw goes, they were so dry from beyond the three-point arc early on, but they've really picked it up now. Shaney up top. Bengals lead. 52-38 as Shaw misses. It's blocked by Damone Darman. He waves his finger. No, no. Spinks will inbound. All the way out to Jarrell Carter. Carter goes to Spinks. Spinks back to Carter. Carter throws it to the referee. He thought the referee was on his team. That's not gonna, that's not gonna work for Shaw. So it'll go back the other way, Bengals ball. Meek Black inbounds it to Chris Smith. That's stolen away. There goes Shaw the other way, laying it up and missed it. Rebounded by Benedictine. And Meek Black, he goes all the way down the floor to Chris Smith who lays it up and in. The other end, Shaw puts it up, they miss. Rebounded by Noah Whistler. Meek Black on the far side. Goes all the way to the lane, gives to Darman, who lays it up and it rattled out. Here comes Andrew Spinks the other way. He'll drive and fire a floater. Did not get the roll. Rebounded by Benedictine. Dumbo Darman. Now it's Meek Black in the backcourt. Works it up through the forecourt. 2.04 left to go in regulation. Meek Black goes to Whistler. Whistler thought about a three. He'll take a jumper. And Emerson White is going to check it at the score table. The student section chanting his name. And Coach Salata, listen. Meanwhile, Andrew speaks for a three. He knocks it down. Coach Salata gives in to the temptations of the student section. Emerson White has checked into the game. Timeout, Benedict. Another reminder, the next home game, the Bengals will face off against the Padua Bruins on the 28th youth night here at Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Youth basketball players can wear their team's jersey for free admission to the game. Unfortunately, we will not be streaming the game, but it will be brought to you live through the huddle camera in the gym. Our varsity and JV teams will also play Louisville. Excuse me, our freshman and JV teams will also play Louisville on the 21st. So plenty of action. Please come out to support the Bengals. Just a minute and 31 seconds. 
left to go. Coach Cheeks, our wrestling coach, has walked into the gym with a trophy in his hand. The Bengals had a wrestling meet today. I assume it went well. And you'll love to see it. Emerson White has entered the game, our football play-by-play -play broadcaster. As the wrestling team re-enters. Emerson White and the student section loving that he is now in the game. 54-41, Bengals lead. Meek Black inbounds. Gets it in to Chris Smith. Mateen in the game with Seals, White, Black and Chris Smith. Chris Smith drives, finds a way to the lane, kicks it out to Mateen for three. He knocks it down, Bryce Mateen. Back the other way, Shaney, jumper. Missed it, air ball. Chris Smith goes all the way down the floor, or excuse me, Black all the way down the floor to Smith. Unable to make something happen. Shaney back the other way quickly. Three in the corner on the way. He knocks it down. LaShawn Clark for three. 57-44 Bengals lead. Meek Black up to Chris Smith. He's going to go all the way over to Nehemiah Seals who's pushed and that's going to be a foul on Sean. With the win, Benedictine. Will improve to four and two. Shaw will drop to one and four. The Bengals undefeated here at home. Uh, saying that this is the home opener. And with a win, they will be one and oh. Shaw the other way, stolen away by Nehemiah Seals. Mateen picks it up, goes over to Meek Black. 36 seconds left to go. Black gets it up to Mateen. Emerson White in the corner. Back to Mateen. Mateen up to Meek Black. 27 seconds left. Chris Smith. Whistle on the play. It's going the other way. They're going to get Nehemiah Seals with a foul. So the wrestling team coming back from their meet today Congratulations to them on a successful meet. We assume it went well with Coach Cheeks coming in here with a, with a trophy in his hand. As a three on the way for Shaw is missed. Hunter Graham goes down low to Zaire Shaney who gets it in. Five seconds, four, three, two. The Bengals win. This one is over. A final score of 57-46. The Bengals are victorious here this evening from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. You love to see it. Final score, 57-46. Victory for the Bengals here this evening. A great way to open the season here at home. We'll take a look at some of the final statistics. Benedict with eight fouls as opposed to Shaw's 12. And could have been a decent impact here. Rebounds, 34 to 33. Bengals just had one more, but they shot a lot better. Shaw attempted almost 80 shots here today. They only hit 17 of them. Benedictine had a much better percentage from the field. So once again, the final score from Truman, from, from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. 57, 46. Sherman at Shaw for all the information she provided us tonight, as well as their principal, Larry Ellis, assistant principal, Terrence, Ros Terrence Roscoe. We'd like to thank everybody on our crew here this evening. We'd like to thank our director at Switcher, Brian Devers, Amir Kabir on audio, scoreboard and graphics, my brother here, Matthew Lloyd, he stepped up when I moved into the commentary position. I did the 
graphics for football, but he stepped up here this evening to help with graphics for basketball. We love to see that. Cameras, Will Milan, Ben Shear, Will Hall, and Will Lloyd. Uh, and on photos, Gabe Heskamp, Nate Queener. We'd also like to thank Ryan Karras, Jacob Sheen, and John Queener, as well as Connor Devers, class of 2013. So that's all we have for you this evening. The Bengals are victorious by a final score of 57 to 46. The Bengals win on opening night. We'll see you next time from Truman Memorial Fieldhouse. Good night, everybody.